cop on the take. A cowardly right-hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work. Hello, for the makeup here, and this is another episode of Max Payne that's evidently going to be uh, a bit trickier than the last one. I would say we've come to the, uh, the point where there's another uh, jump in difficulty. So, yeah, um, welcome to another episode. And that's going to happen a lot. These Jew Ingrams are probably going to work better uh, down here. Actually, they seem to be better at long distance shooting, so. Plus, their rapid fire, which seems to help. But yeah, I remember this level, and it is quite hard. Probably more of them. Yeah. Thought so. I would be surprised if that's all of them, actually. Let's have a look around. I don't think there's anything else to find here, but you never know. Yeah, because you would keep these in a box and car park, wouldn't you? I mean, no, I, I probably could, shouldn't be complaining. It is actually phenomenally helpful that someone decided to keep those there. It just doesn't make much logical sense. Buttons confused. There haven't been a lot of levels so far, and I thought, oh no, not more of them. But this car park level is actually really tricky, and I'm starting to think, oh no, more of them. Yep, I'm sure someone else can hit me from here, because it's this level. Let's 
go and have a look at this fan. Now, more of them are bound to come out when I uh, destroy this log. the others who will inevitably uh, end up being here. Ah, there's one. Thought it was better for me to surprise him rather than him surprising me. don't like saving this often, all evidence to the contrary notwithstanding, but let's that or die. So and I'm gonna die anyway, it's a fact. See, it's that or die. perfectly possible that someone would get a headache in the car park. Ah, more of them, huh? I have a gun I've never tried. This thing. Reports of a fire at the Punchinello Manor in Westchester. The manor is the home of Angelo Punchinello, the alleged head of the Punchinello crime family. The police are now saying, contrary to their earlier statements, that Max Payne is still alive and at large. He continues his vendetta against the Mafia, of which this last act of arson is attributed to. I had no recollection of setting any fires. But I did remember the flames. Okay, it's an M79. I will pretend I know what that is. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, there are certain disadvantages to using this gun. 
I don't think I'm going to be over the using that one. there. This isn't a great episode either. I mean, what we've got essentially is just me going through this crap art, which can't be that interesting for you. But they are very bad drivers. More of you still around, huh? glad when this episode is well this this level is over This could be him. Is that BB? I don't know. Could have been. What the heck? No, look, you, you don't have to jump upwards. It's the the fighting's over. You can you can stay still and not be mysteriously haunted by something. Okay, not happy about how hurt I got there.
Ah, there we go. I'm really not sure how to turn the dialogue down. If the only way I can think of to turn the dialogue up would turn all of this background noise up as well, and then you won't be able to hear the dialogue anyway. Uh, as far as I can tell, so... Yeah, there's, there's bound to be more of them somewhere. I mean, I might be able to go through... There'll be, there'll be somewhere I can go through. Ah! Yeah. Thanks, Payton. Whatever does it for you. This is Alfred Wooden. I can give you the name of your enemy. Come to the Asgard building presently. We are expecting you. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the information missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the catch? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When the funding was discontinued, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in her hands. Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you. Make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. It was an impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me. Okay, well, I have more than half a tissue in my pocket. I'm gonna end the episode there. I will see you next time.